What's up, y'all? Sparta here. Now, for this video, I want to talk about a very particular, um, specific Bluetooth headset, and that's the, um, Sony WFXBSP800N. They really need to rebrand because these, th th this is probably what messes with metrics is that this doesn't really have an appealing naming convention, right? But let's talk about this here. So the Sony's that I reviewed a while ago, these are like the upgrades of them in a lot of ways. The only thing that I would say is that the, on the only downsides that I would say compared to say the LG Tone Freeze or something like that is that these don't get nearly as much longevity out of say the battery. Like in terms of the casing, you only get an extra nine hours out of the case, which is essentially just one charge. Now, to be fair, say if you just use one ear for like a few hours, put it in the case and use the other ear for a few hours, you'll be fine. And you can alternate between each ear. Um, in terms of the app, the app is pretty nice too. I do, I have felt that, um, under certain circumstances, the, when you don't connect to the app, yeah, when you don't connect to the app, right, and you want to use the control, sometimes it won't work, but a lot of the times it does, so it's not really that big of a deal. Um, yeah, but on in the app, you get all these settings here. Yes, I know, damn it. You get all these settings, you get your left, right percentages, and you get the battery life of the case. I wish on LG's app that that was a thing, that you get the battery life on the case, but you get the battery life of the buds, which is honestly fine, too. Um, You get your sound controls equalizer and stuff like that. I haven't really messed with this. I'm honestly fine with the default equalizer, what it's tuned, how it's tuned out of the box, so that's fine. In terms of system... This is the one thing where I don't really like. Um, this is the one thing I don't really like. And let me actually show you guys here. Give me a second. Okay, so I got the LG Tone Freeze here as well. And they just announced an active noise canceling version of these two. I do actually want to try those out. But let's get into this. So... Let me actually see if it'll connect because these haven't been connected to anything in quite a bit. So let me. I probably have to reconnect them. Oh, no, it's connected to the fucking. It's connected to the FE. Um, let me do this. Okay, it's connected now. Took a bit because I had to repair them, but you know, let me actually pair them back up here. But yeah, um, they connect really, both of these connect really fast, very efficiently, very cleanly. I really don't have an issue with this. The only thing is that on the tones, I do wish that you didn't just flip up the case like AirPods, which I do like, which I do also have here. Um, I do wish that you take them out and then that's how they pair. Because to me, I just prefer that, but I, I, I understand the ease of use that a lot of people get. People want that AirPods feel and that's how you would get that AirPods feel. So let me go to the LG Tone app here. Um, so this is what I want to talk about, right? Let me go to touchpad settings on here. On the tones, on the tones, on every single, on every single, um, crap. On every single setting, right? On all of these settings here. And sorry for the refresh rate. Let me actually kick up my shutter speed here. But... As you guys can see, all these right here, 
you get to choose what you want. Now, the only ones you don't is say the press and hold because that's going to be your ambient sound and your noise canceling when you get the FN7s and stuff like that. That's what that's going to be used for. But all these you can customize. And the best part about it, say you get an iPhone and you pair it to your iPhone and then you download the app. What you don't have to do is reset all your... The only settings you really have to reset are like the equalizer, which I remember anyway. Um, but in terms of like the touchpad settings, they're saved onto the earbuds themselves. So you don't really have to worry about having to redo that. Whereas by default, it comes with volume and playback, I believe. But you go into here, you go, you could choose on the left side if you want volume control. If you want any of these controls here, you pick them. But the problem is you can't change what they do. They all stay the same. And to me, that kind of sucks because... What? What? I don't know. But yeah, um, <laughs> you can't really customize any of that. So that kind of sucks. But you know, it's whatever. Um, I never really had the issue of not being able to use any of the controls before opening the app up. I don't know why it's doing this, whatever. It's not really relevant anymore anyway, so it's fine. But other than that, let's talk about music playback because that's most important when it comes to this. And if I'm going to compare it to the tones here real quick, which is my most direct comparison, I haven't listened to the AirPod, AirPods Pro in a while, so I can't really talk about that. But in terms of how these sound, you're going to get extra bass. That's what the XB stands for. And... Oh, boy, <laughs> it's really nice bass, too. It's not like muddy bass. It's very clean bass. And to me, there's a lot of things that I do indeed enjoy. When I when you listen to what I listen to, like a lot of hip hop, a lot, a lot of 90s, 2000s, hip hop, rap, even some 80s and stuff like that. It sounds really nice in the bass line and all that stuff is really quality. But... Say you want to listen to some instrumentals like I tend to, as a test, I, I um, use the Doom Eternal soundtrack. The only thing they fear is you and the bass doesn't do anything to destroy that track. It actually kind of helps the track a little bit, gives it a little bit more oomph. And that's really nice for, say, a Doom Eternal soundtrack. Say you want to work, work out to that. And that's really nice. And speaking of working out, these are IP55 waterproof so you don't really have to worry about that they get nine hours of battery life out of the buds themselves you get you get um nine hours from the case like i said these have digital noise cancellation and ambient mode compared to the tones the ambient mode i definitely would say is better on here what the hell do not play do not play Nas right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in terms of that stuff, digital noise cancellation, I, I didn't really test it all that much. I didn't, I don't really care for noise cancellation. I more care about the isolation that you get from just putting, putting them in. And it's very nice. Volume levels are good as well. Like, they get loud to the point where you don't hear the outside world, but they don't get too loud to where you hear your ears ringing the moment you take them out. That's really nice. It also has these smart sensors here to, te to detect whether or not the earphones are in your ears. This whole black right here, it has the wing to keep it in your ear. Um, you get a whole bunch of tips in the box as well that are nice and more wings. Oh, crap. Um... Initially, I wasn't really the biggest fan of, say, white, because as you guys probably can see, they are getting, like, marks on them. Uh, I would much prefer to have black, but, because as you guys can probably see right here, there's this mark 
That probably came because it flew out of my ear earlier while I was on the truck at work. But yeah, that was that sucked. But in terms of like, say, sound quality, you get really nice bass, really booming bass, but not overpowering bass. The vocals are nice as well. They don't get muddied out either. They have a good enough presence. I don't necessarily feel like you're going to get any like bad amount of presence when it comes to the bait, when it comes to say the combination of the bass and the vocals on there. Female vocals aren't really that shrill on here. They don't sound too sharp. So that's nice. Typically some earbuds tend to do that. I remember the AirPods Pro was certain songs like say, What's the difference on um Dr. Dre's 2001 album? They um they would be shrill on certain like notes and stuff like that. It felt kind of weird because it would like say with certain instrumentals and stuff like that, it would get very sharp and it was kind of unsatisfying and kind of annoying to hear but on this you don't really get that issue on the tones and comparing to the tones these give you a more clean accurate sound you can get bass out of these you just got to eq them and you're not going to get this bass out of them but you're going to get a good amount of bass out of them in my personal opinion obviously if you direct comparison compare them side by side the bass that these get are basically nothing but if you just use these and you're satisfied with what they do You'll be fine. Um, the only real downside to these is I wish they did have more battery life. That's pretty much it. And Aptex, I really would like that. It only has AAC and SBC. That's pretty much it. But other than that, I really do like these. You know, that they're $200. They do come in more colors, I think. Oh, God. I do think there's a... I think there's an orange color. There's a black, obviously, and those are the ones that I do want. Um, and these are basically the sport version of their higher end ones that actually have active noise cancellation. But to me, I feel these are better in my person, for me personally, because water resistance. And to me, that's something that definitely is a selling point because I work. I use these while at work. And I sweat a lot, so that's really nice. But other than that, that's pretty much it. That's all I really want to talk about. Um, this is part of the thing I watch. Thanks for support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, whatever time of day it is in the area. But thanks for 883 subscribers. Let's get up to 900. That'll be really nice. That'll be 100 more to 1,000. And uh, yeah, have a good one.